The Education Union says student violence against teachers in the Northern Territory is on the rise. Yesterday, a 14-year-old student allegedly punched and stabbed a Darwin teacher in the arm and leg. The union says it's the latest in a string of increasingly violent incidents against Territory teachers. It was business as usual at Nightcliff Middle School this morning. Students and staff streamed in for class, including the teacher who was allegedly punched and stabbed by a student yesterday. This morning I went out to the school. Uh, I had morning tea with the staff and I also uh, uh, met and had a conversation uh, with the teachers involved who's back at work today and who's in good spirits. The student has been suspended and could face criminal charges. The government says it was a serious but isolated incident. The teachers' union disagrees. Violence in schools is increasing. We are on a weekly basis getting uh, concerned calls from teachers in all parts of the Territory, worried about safety in their classrooms and worried about their own personal safety. The middle school system was introduced in the Territory in 2006 to try to re-engage students in years 7 to 9. But the union says the system is underfunded, failing to handle problem children and the root of most of the problems teachers face. Despite earlier promises of re-engagement uh, in these lost years, that this is simply not occurring. And many middle schools are simply schools of survival. The government denies middle schools are hotbeds of violence. It says last year there were only four cases of student violence against teachers. So that's four in the whole of the system. I'm talking about the government system of the Northern Territory, some 33,000 students. So I would say that actual physical assaults are an isolated incident. The government also says it has two institutions in the top end to care for children with behavioural problems who can't cope in mainstream schools.